Welcome guys! This guide is designed to optimize your use of the gyroscope using an advanced training method that's focused on improving your hand reflexes and muscle memory. Both beginners and full gyro players can benefit from this video, so I hope it helps you take full advantage of all the mechanics that the gyroscope provides, no matter your skill level. I will go over the main topics concerning the gyroscope. The training routines that you have to practice will progressively get more advanced as your skills improve. If you're already a full gyro player, you can skip to this section. I always include timestamps in the description so you can use them at your convenience. However, I suggest you watch this video from beginning to end in case there's a basic skill that you still need to train. But first, make sure you leave a like to help me grow this channel so I can start bringing more content to you guys. Let's begin. Basic Gyroscope You might already know that the gyroscope is controlled by the physical movement of your phone. This improves your accuracy over thumb aiming because it's an input method that's more aligned with your hand movements. To turn it on, there's this setting. It determines when the gyroscope is activated. If you set it to scope on, it will only work when aiming down your sights. If you set it to always on, it will work all the time. I suggest you set it that way because even if you're not going to use gyro for hip fire, it's useful to help you accurately position the reticle over the general direction of your target before aiming. Remember that you can invert it with this option in case that's more comfortable to you. The best way to start using the gyroscope is with a low sensitivity. I suggest that you copy these settings after activating it. Once you have the gyroscope activated, there is no need to focus on using it. Simply play using your fingers as you always have. Your muscle memory will automatically begin to associate the physical rotation of your cell phone with small movements of your aim. This means that as time goes on, you will subconsciously begin to use the gyroscope for slight adjustments to your aim as well as the recoil control mechanics. However, if you want to speed up the process, you can use this training routine that includes two simple exercises to practice the gyroscope. Exercise number one, muscle memory development. Use the corners of this target to trace a square-shaped path that will help you associate the rotation of your phone with the movements of your reticle in-game. Exercise number two, gyroscope recoil control. Use a UMP to shoot the center of this target. Control the recoil using only the gyroscope. You have to train five minutes for each exercise once a day for a whole week. Initially, you may find it difficult to practice effectively, but this is good because it means that you are speeding up the learning process. Feel free to modify the sensitivity to your liking as you progress through the exercises. One of the most difficult aspects for beginners is compensating the camera movement after controlling your spray. Let me explain. Look at my hands. This is the normal position of my phone. Once I start shooting, I have to control the recoil by rotating it backwards. My phone is now in an awkward position, so I need to return it to its normal position. The problem now is that the gyroscope made my reticle go up excessively, so I have to use my thumb to lower it back down. An experienced player does all this without realizing it. This is because he learned it subconsciously with a low gyroscope sensitivity, which caused the same effect but not in such an exaggerated way. You will most likely learn it automatically, but if you want to speed up the process, I suggest you add this exercise to your basic training routine. Shoot this target in full auto until you empty your clip. Adjust the position of your phone back to normal and compensate for the movement with your thumb. Initially, you can do it step by step, separately, but later you can combine both movements so that you don't lose sight in front of you. Advanced Gyroscope Once you are comfortable with all the basic mechanics of using the gyroscope, it is time for you to increase the sensitivity. I will show you how to calibrate it correctly. There are two sensitivity sections that you have to focus on, gyroscope sensitivity and ADS gyroscope. For adjustments when aiming down your sights, there are three groups. Later on, we'll focus on the hip radical sensitivity. Gyroscope sensitivity. This sensitivity only applies when you are not firing your weapon, so you will only use it when aiming. Let's start with the close range sights. Their main purpose is to transfer between targets, so a high sensitivity setting is required. This exercise is to optimize target transfer. Adjust your sensitivity until you feel completely comfortable focusing from one object to another. 
Don't worry about being 100% accurate with your shots. Just focus on adjusting your sensitivity until you are absolutely confident in your target transfer skills. Remember to repeat this with a 2x scope. This sight is also used at close range. Now we're going to calibrate their mid-range sights. They require a moderate sensitivity setup. Their main use is to acquire targets, therefore we are going to focus on aiming at medium range. Shoot the center of this target from each corner of the square. Adjust your gyro sensitivity until you feel completely comfortable shooting inside the black circle. Remember to repeat it with a 3x scope. The sensitivity of this scope also applies when you use the 6x scope with reduced magnification. Finally, we are going to calibrate the long distance sights. These sights require low sensitivity because their primary focus is high precision, but they also have a secondary use for controlling single fire shots. Go up this hill and shoot this target the same way you did with the mid range scopes. Adjust the gyroscope sensitivity until you feel comfortable maintaining a good level of accuracy. Focus on always shooting at the black circle in the center. Now, fire single shots at a constant speed to continue adjusting your gyro sensitivity until you feel like you have good recoil control. Do your best to try to shoot the black center, but keep in mind that it's okay if your shots fall into the white square from time to time. Remember to repeat these two exercises with a 6x scope, but if you're going to use it for spraying, repeat the exercises in the mid-range sight section. ADS Gyroscope Sensitivity this setting applies only when shooting, so you will only modify it for when you fire full auto. Therefore, only short and medium range sights require calibration. The method is the same for both groups. Shoot at the center of this target and adjust your ADS gyroscope sensitivity until you can comfortably keep your shots within this optimal area. Make sure to repeat this with the red dot sight, the 2x scope and the 3x scope. Next, test whether your sensitivity feels good with this exercise. Feel free to keep tweaking your settings until you feel comfortable tracking this target. For the long distance group, just copy the settings from the gyroscope sensitivity section. It's time to train your new gyroscope sensitivity in order to strengthen your muscle memory and improve your reflexes in the process. This routine has to be practiced every day for a whole week. There are two exercises for each group. You have to train for 5 rounds with each scope. I recommend that you set up 10 rounds for each exercise and switch scopes after finishing the 5th round. Section number 1. Close range sights. Recoil control. Prepare standard training with these settings. The purpose of this exercise is to train your ability to control the recoil of your sights at close range. Target transfer. Prepare standard training with these settings. This exercise is designed to train your reflexes when aiming. It will help you quickly get used to the new gyroscope sensitivity you have calibrated. Section number 2. Mid-range scopes. Recoil control. Set up standard training with this configuration. Now shoot all targets in full auto to test your ability to control recoil at all available ranges. Target tracking. Set up standard training with these settings. Now try to keep your sights on the target while shooting. This will train your ability to control recoil while tracking a moving target, so you will improve as quickly as possible with these scopes. Section number 3 Long Distance Scopes. Precision training. Set up standard training with these settings. Use any rifle to fire a single shot to the head of your target. This will improve your ability to shoot accurately regardless of the distance to your opponent. Single fire recoil. Set up standard training with a target at any distance you want to train. What you have to do is try to control your recoil so that most of the shots hit the head of your target. Remember that you can practice with a zoomed out 6x scope instead of a 3x scope if you wish. The sensitivity setting is the same. 
close-range combat. This setting determines the sensitivity of the camera movement without aiming. A high sensitivity is necessary to maximize your ability to move the reticle at an opponent in any direction. This is because the movement of the gyroscope is limited by the physical rotation of your cell phone. Therefore, the sensitivity determines the maximum range around you. This is what it looks like with 100%. This is what it looks like with 200%. This is how it looks with 300%. This is what it looks like with 400%. I suggest you start with 300% sensitivity. This setting is easy to use and covers a good amount of space. Make sure you set exactly the same value for the ADS sensitivity section. Your gyroscope has a base point from which it begins its movement. With 300% sensitivity you can move your reticle 90 degrees to either direction from the base point. To change this point to another direction, you have to use your finger. This way you will be able to cover all sides from which an opponent could attack you. It's simple. Use your finger to change direction and the gyroscope to aim at your target. Eventually it'll be better to set your sensitivity up to 400% in order to optimize the range of your gyroscope in close quarters combat. Initially, you will have difficulty with rotation hypersensitivity. This is caused by the shaking of your hands. The high sensitivity of the gyroscope detects these tiny movements. As you can see, my screen doesn't shake as much even though it has 400% gyroscope sensitivity. This is because I have full control of my grip, but when I first started I was shaking a lot and that was very annoying. As time went by, I got used to having a good grip on my phone so it is no longer a problem. Fortunately for you, I have designed some training exercises to help you speed up the process of limiting the earthquake effect of the gyroscope. Exercise number one, a reticle hole drill. Try to keep the dot of the reticle over the center of this objective. This exercise will help you optimize the force with which you grip your device so that you improve your control over the movement of your hands. Do this for a full minute non-stop. Exercise number two, movement tracking. Prepare standard training with these settings and track the target with your reticle. Do this for 2 minutes straight. Exercise number 3. Reticle hold with movement. Run towards this target in a long zigzag and keep your reticle over the center to the best of your ability. It is extremely important that you try to maintain accuracy no matter how difficult it may be. Do this 2 times in total. This routine is quite liked. It should take you about 5 minutes in total to finish all the drills. Repeat it every day until you feel like you have excellent control over the movement of your hands. And feel free to add it to your main training routine. The OTS aiming sensitivity has to be the same as the general camera sensitivity. I've made a full video on this topic if you're interested in knowing more about how you should use this mode. Thumb use. The camera sensitivity section controls thumb aiming and the ADS sensitivity section controls thumb recoil control. Once you become a full gyro player, you're going to put your thumb sensitivities to a different use. Previously you only use your thumb to aim so your settings are calibrated for that. Now you have to adjust them again. Thankfully, this is very simple. In the camera sensitivity section, the only settings you have to change are these. You are going to use your thumb to scan their surroundings. Target lock-on will be done with the gyroscope because it's more accurate. Instead of calibrating each setting individually, you have to multiply each one by 1.5 to get the optimal value. This is what the entire calibration method would look like. Now, in the ADS sensitivity section you have to modify all these values. Just set them at 1%, you will no longer use them. Leaving the settings on will be a nuisance because any touch from your finger can interrupt your gyro control while spraying. This is what it looks like when you have them at 1%. There won't be a problem now. Make sure to leave the camera sensitivity setting with its original values. You will use this one while hip firing. 
focus solely on mastering overall sensitivity during your gyro training. When you're ready to progress to custom sensitivity, make sure you watch this video to understand how to calibrate the sensitivity of each weapon to perfection. This gyroscope guide is designed for extensive training for two weeks to improve your skills as quickly as possible no matter how many fingers you play with. All these exercises condense months of experience into two weeks. After the first one you will already switch to full gyro, and after the second one you will have mastered the gyroscope's advanced mechanics. I'm sure that when you fully master the gyroscope, you will become an incredibly professional player.